Hello and welcome back everyone to our Rocket Rabbit, our randomizer run of Omega Ruby. <laughs> and in this episode, I will eventually decide how the hell I want to introduce these, but it's not this, today. That was the most alliterative one. We will be continuing one. on. <laughs> yes, we we are going to continue on our, our quest to get up to Fortree. But it will involve us getting interrupted by story missions. Wonderful not our own lady, not our own lady Rose, but she is one of the Werewolves. trainers I want to defeat on this trip Wombats. because she is one of the primary grinding trainers that I used to use back in Gen 3. And she actually uh, gets her, uh, uh, she actually retains her Versus Seeker uh, uh, bonuses from Gen 3 in this game. That's so a big evolution of Gligar, isn't it? It's not a mega evolution, it is a normal evolution, but yes. Because I thought I thought Gliger was at the time one of those one of those missed opportunities, but you see, it takes time. You got to spend time with the Pokemon, and they figured out that every twenty years, Gliger uh, turns into a uh, demon monster. Well, he already was a demon monster. He's a <laughs> flying scorpion. Is you're you're flying in ground? Just what, what are you? <laughs> I'm a scorpion. I use poison sting. I to... You're not a poison oh. type. I do what I want. I want to electrocute you, but you're ground. I want to hit you with dig, but you're flying. Just, what, what, what do I do? Oh, I, ice type. Yeah, but the only ice type available at that point is swine up. So fuck Blizzard. That. No, Blizzard sucks. Blizzard sucks. Blizzard Icy does suck, but sucks. Blizzard sucks specifically because Hail is not a viable uh, team strategy. Uh, I wish <laughs> Hail was a viable team strategy. That would be so fucking nice. But no, Hail is not a viable team strategy. Right, because Hail doesn't add buffs to Ice-type attacks. It just damages non-Ice Pokemon. There's that, but the big thing that Hail actually does do is it uh, allows Blizzard to bypass the accuracy check. Oh, well that is useful, isn't it? Yes, it's very useful for Blizzard. It doesn't do anything else to any other goddamn moves. I think there was a fan, there was a ROM oh hack at one point that whisper. attempted to make it so that uh, Hail actually doubled the occurrence of freeze on attacks that could freeze, and that was cool. But it, I'm don't, I don't think that that's actually a thing that they're ever going to implement because freeze is the flat out best status ailment in the game, aside. Well, yeah, it's even better than confusion in th in this game specifically because you know freeze with uh, freeze is just uh, freeze is just the best. It's got the be it gives you the best capture rate multiplier uh, tied with sleep at two times. It outright disables the it outright disables the opponent uh, the opponent's Pokemon for upwards of five turns. More uh, more of its hailing actually. I don't I think if it's hailing, then a uh, freeze uh, uh, bypasses its uh, thought check. Oh, so that means that the hail will actually preserve the cryogenic Pokemon. <laughs> sure, Cloud, that's what it's doing while they're getting pelted with the chunks. La 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 la. Dalton. Guitarist Dalton is actually a, another I'm a fisherman one of the that, uh, and I will capture yes, you. <laughs> fisherman Wade, and he actually has a water type Pokemon. Hi, yeah, Pelipper. It, here's, ah, it, like the, Pelipper. The randomizer seems to be losing its touch because here's yet another trainer in the same vicinity that has a Pokemon that he probably would have. Because actually, I fought Dalton many times, and he had a Wismer, which eventually became a Loudred, which eventually became an Exploud. Oh, wait, no, I'm yeah. not thinking of him. I'm thinking of the traveling TV reporter and her cameraman. <laughs> Yeah, but because they had a Magnemite, uh, a Magnemite and Wismer, and then they would evolve into Magneton and Exploud. Yes, and you had to fight both of them. For the record, that uh, that side quest is here. We're just not doing it. It, um, I mean, it let you like you know, grind for one thing. Actually, and it allowed you to uh, interact slightly more with the world, just not in a meaningful and, way. And uh, and and money. Actually, I remember those those two drop quite a bit of money. Yes, not as much as the as the rich uh, as the rich kids though. So, but you know, you, you figure that if they could get off of the local television network, that they could get on the national scale and really get the dope. Uh, well, here's the thing: they're actually part of the uh, national TV network. Remember, Hoenn is technically its own country. It's a very small country. Um. It's based around it's based around southern Japan on uh, one of the southern Japan provinces, so it has to be a small country. Right. 
Which of the regions do you think actually has the largest overall landmass? Well, let's see. I only have... Um, the only three regions I can actually identify by its relative size and scale would be Johto, Kanto, and Hoenn, because those are three re respective countries, let's say. Yeah, they would exactly they would be, be, they would be countries. Case. I think Hoenn is the biggest. Of the three, most certainly. I personally think that uh, given uh, given uh, the landmass stipulation, the the biggest region that we've actually had so far is almost certainly Unova. This guy. Hey, Steven. I I remembered. Good heavens, I can remember things again. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Steven. Bye -bye. Don't you... What's this? Forget about me. Oh, no! Plot is happening! Run away! Wait, really? Oh, this... Hi, yeah, because Steven likes legendary Pokemon. Actually, he likes Steel-type Pokemon, but... Dragon Psychic. Yeah. So this is a new Fly this is a me. new uh, side quest slash interruption that I'm pretty sure we're actually required to do in order to yeah the chosen one we get we got kidnapped sure, by Latios. Uh, I mean, I I am so confused. <laughs> it's okay. We're just getting kidnapped uh, by Latios. We're just the chosen one now. You you did it. You you didn't even have to beat the game. The Pokemon already love you. Welcome All right. to my so what's happening paradise. here is that we're actually getting introduced to, to Mega Evolution, um, effectively. Since we officially have defeated Norman, we actually have five gym badges. Which, since there are only eight gym badges in the game, they officially have decided, okay, you're more than halfway through, let's give you a huge goddamn power-up. Now here, Goku will complete his training so that he too will achieve Super Saiyan 3 God Mode Extra Plus. Those whose memories fade seek to carve them in their hearts. Hi, Latios. Oh. Yes. I met your brother. Or sister, maybe. Sister. These guys aren't that big. They aren't. It's kind of cute. They're like big, flying, whatever the fucks. They only have two limbs. Uh-oh. Hey, Courtney. What, do, what, what, what? Did you guys catch a ride on the flying Pokemon, too? <laughs> what, what? Is she just giving away rides? <laughs> Trying to get people in the club? I don't know who you are, but I think I'm in love with you. <laughs> uh, I wish Courtney only has a, uh, Courtney only has eyes for Maxie. <laughs> for Maxie. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, well, we're just we're just gonna fight now. Eh. Yep. Courtney's got a ferro seed, and the grunt's got a skunk tank. Skunk tank. It's a tank. It's a skunk. Hey, Steven, that's not a steel type I Pokemon, that's a reunion I wanna hug place. you! <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Ow! I'm still gonna hug you, though. Alright, so, normally, Ferroseed would be a steel grass type Pokemon with absurdly high physical defense. Sonic Boom! That is a terrible move to be using right now. Well, it's slightly better than Dragon Rage, which is what we're using on it. Aha! Yay! We're trying to get Zatanna up to the rest of our party since since she and Jesse Quick are so are so far behind. Do -do -do -do. All right, now mm. surface with the slowest thing possible. Ow! Ouch! God damn it! Here, have a side strike. Stinker. Inferno! Why did Stop using attacks that can miss, yeah. damn it. Avoided the attack, though. Damn it. No! Oh! No! This actually... Inferno is honestly one of the best uh, fire-type moves in the game, if it could ever actually uh, hit anything. Use a water-type. Uh, but it has a base accuracy of 50. Fuck. 
Uh, do, 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 do. No, we don't need fly. I mean, you'd think that a f nah. I was gonna say a flying type would avoid dive because I mean, like, well, shit. I mean, it's like dig, but with water. There, he actually hit with Inferno. Kill. Yay. Yay! Thank you, Steven. Ah, uh, your hugging Pokemon has brought us much glory today. Beware of the big, stupid, woobly fingers. <laughs> Damn it, Swoobat, stop hogging experience Slurp. points. Whatever. What, God damn it, Japan. <laughs> Commencing. Aha! <laughs> yeah, Court, uh, Courtney. Courtney's uh, very robotic oh, dialogue is supposed to be very off-putting, but I actually am a real. I'm really a big fan of that gimmick for her. It it makes her stand out in a sea of, in a sea of otherwise uh, mostly personalityless NPCs. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a big step up from like the rocket executives that were that they were using in Gen Two. I mean, there were really only three. There were really only like three classes of trainer. There's like, I don't even know if they had a proper admin. It was just it was just an executive. It was just, there were only two of them. You're either a grunt, or you are a mu. Oh look, Latios transformed into a Pidgeot. What? I'm not actually a legendary. I'm a ditto. No, you're a Pidgeot. We can tell you apart, ditto. Your eyes never change. <laughs> no, no, that was uh, that was specifically a uh, a defective slash inexperienced ditto from the anime. <laughs> but so Steven has given us the Mega Bracelet. Now we have access to Mega Evolution. The problem, of course, being that none of the Pokemon that I've decided to use on my team have Mega Forms. And even if they did, Mega Evolution is a bit broken. Specifically because there's only a limited number of species that can use it, but anyone, any of the species that can use it get a 100 points bonus onto their, onto their base stat total, and it kind of breaks a lot of different Pokemon. Ironically, one of the best po one of the Pokemon that gets a Mega Evolution is Garchomp, but Garchomp isn't actually Garchomp's Mega specifically isn't actually all that good, <laughs> at least in comparison to other Megas. So are you gonna be like Captain Cortez and just sit here whenever I feel like going to Keel Hall Key? Uh, no. Okay. To be perfect, that is the only time that we go to uh to the Latios Island. Every bit as exclusive as the Lost City of Atlantis. Yeah, I I am actually a real I am a really big detractor when it comes to this. I don't like the fact that Oras gives you a a, a Latios with a, a Latios or Latios with a Mega Stone here, because that can because that alone can carry you through literally the entire game. Latios and Latios have got such high such high base stat totals in comparison to a majority of the other Pokemon in Generation 3 that giving you a legendary with a Mega Stone makes it so that you don't really have to try anymore. Yeah. Which is why we're we're not I don't use legendary Pokemon uh, in my runs. Well, I have I have a couple things to say to that. One is you bought the game, so they're already happy. Two is this is not the first time in Pokemon's history we're buying a different version of the game will give you steroids that would be unavailable to you in other runs which might those latter runs might be more balanced uh pokemon crystal for example let you get suicune with basically 100 percent you know consistency because suicune as a part of an event of the story of the game will appear before you instead of making you chase after him like the other two legendary dogs and suicune is a really Fucking good Pokemon to have for the Elite Four. Ah, <laughs> uh, not really. Suicune's big, uh, big advantage is that it's incredibly tanky. He, he is tanky. He's got a lot of defense. He's got a lot of health, and his attacks are a little underwhelming. But he, he, he is a good. I, I stand by. I stood by my decision to run Suicune in my main party when I beat the Elite Four. Not to mention that... The yeah, but that's because it's a legendary Pokemon, dude. Come on. You don't need that level of steroid for the Elite Four, especially in right. Gen 2. Gen 2's, a, a Gen 2's uh, first run through the Elite Four is really goddamn yeah, simple. Yeah, because you catch Suicune at level 40, and the Elite Four caps out at level 50 Dragonite. 
during the during the champion lance boss fight. Um, so Suicune yeah. is already at level, and he will continue to be. I think I, I I think I might have even gotten him to like 41 or 42 because because he's a legendary. He requires a stupid amount of experiences to level up once. Um, but yeah, he starts off at 40 uh, at level, and I totally would exploit that and recommend it because the game gives it to you because it's Pokemon Crystal and not Pokemon Gold or Silver. That's the that's the re-release bonus. Yes. Though. Anyway, in the next episode, we will continue on our quest to attempt to get to Fortree City. We will not successfully get to Fortree City in the next part, though.